I have two pairs of long underwear on for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to my weekly vlog where we're documenting the random adventures involved in making it, continue to make it, and everything in between as a visual artist. So this week we'll be sharing in the process of creating one of my original large eight-foot pieces. This was inspired by sifting through some vintage t-shirts last night and finding a design that I really, really liked, and it was right in line with Valentine's Day coming up. So we're gonna be painting a Mickey and Minnie pop art piece this afternoon. And then also we're gonna be finalizing the framing and shipping for some pieces that are headed off to New York, hopefully today. And then finally, as usual, we'll be jumping into our weekly giveaway, which we're really excited to share with you. The piece is looking amazing already and we'll be sharing some more shots of that to come. But before we start painting, we gotta do a bit of quality control. So we're gonna to head to the frame shop, make sure everything is looking nice and pristine before it gets created and hopefully is shipped off to New York today. Okay, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. The door is right there on the side. Oh, okay. Check this one. These two pieces are going to be exhibited a bit longer. The new location in New York. And yeah, excited to, to have those out there for a bit longer. Ugh. It's so cold. Minus 30 right now. It's not okay. So today we're working on this piece that you can see behind me, this big masterpiece. We're going, going for a bit of a pop art piece this time. It's actually in the theme of Valentine's Day, Mickey and Minnie Mouse making out. So last night I came here and started to map the whole thing out here. Um, adding lots of nice texture to the background, give it a good base. Some people prefer to do freehand when it comes to this type of stuff, but personally when it comes to pop culture references, I like to stay true to the vision that I have and, and what people can recognize, you know, I think. For this type of art, you really want to make it as accessible as possible and, and just a feel good, kind of nostalgic type of vibe. So. This is what we're doing today. Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't. They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise. Going through a phase, gotta get myself out of it. Don't talk about it, boy, they said you gotta be about it. So I be trying to face the world head on. Front seat riding, cruising down the meadows. Pedal to the meadow, cool breeze blowing down the windows. Calm trees blowing trees, get that boy some headroom. On an interstate in traffic, but I swerve out. Swerve. What's the moves for the night? What's the word now? What's, What's the, the links? Hit me up, we could go now. I got hella pieces. She got hella features, get me hella geeked up She be blowing shisha, reef on me loud Hope them boys don't creep up I don't know a thing, if you do not speak up In my own world, I don't try to kill Girl, tell me what you want Don't be trying to front like I ain't what you want I ain't here to stun, let me take you out for lunch I'ma get you drunk, yeah, filling all your buns Licks in the blunt, I got ash in my cup All these girls showing up, but I don't give a fuck Cause you the one I want, girl, you the one I want Girl, you the one I want Hey, hey, hey come and show me Shorty life. wanna be a rider And I'm feeling high, I can't deny it She a badge on name Maya And when I seen her, man, she look fire she got Originally, when we started this morning, the idea behind this piece was to make a piece that was gonna potentially be in a show that I've been working on for later in this year, an in-person show in New York, which I'm really excited about because it's gonna be my first in-person solo exhibition. But anyways, the idea here was to do something for that show from my Red Heart series, and we'll pan to that right now so you can see some of what that looks like. The Stevie Chow, I got this piece hung on the wall behind my desk. It's a really good vibe, so like when I pull in, Every day from there, first thing I see. But sometimes you just gotta let the art speak for itself and trust the process and go with what needs to be on the canvas. Especially when it comes to pop art and this type of thing, you know, when you're doing like really recognizable iconography, however you say that word. I'm trying to feel how I feel inside her. 
I asked her what she doing, she like nah, I said she just chillin' about to get up in the shower I said alright, cool, I'ma be there in an hour I just wanna live like a Kuna and Matata I ain't got no time for no baby mama drama All about my commas, my letters, no tomatoes Niggas always bragging what they got up in they wallet Ain't no really telling if we let us see tomorrow Get it on my own, I ain't really tryna bar So I stay fly, gotta dress up in designer Okay, so along with this big painting behind me that we're working on today, we're also doing the next piece of our weekly giveaway scavenger hunt idea. You know, with COVID and everything, it's been a really strange time for a lot of people, and we feel really grateful that we're able to do something that we love. So as a way to give back, that's kind of why we're doing these weekly giveaways, something to entertain people. Sometimes it's a scavenger hunt locally, and hopefully we can do them in different cities as well. But this week, we're going to be painting my, I don't know what you call these masks, but We'll be painting my mask that I've had for the past year. It's on its last legs, filters wise, and uh, it got chewed up by my parents' puppy. So we're gonna turn it into a very cool piece of art. Really excited to share more on this one. Driving around in California. So the only challenge with Turning this mask into a piece of art is now I don't have a mask to wear and I'm realizing how stinky this stuff is. Something that could never get replaced. Don't need you to save me. But I just really need to be saved. I'm just so sick. Sitting on my anus, I'm so contemporaneous. In love with my behavior, but really I could probably try and be something greater. Fucking on my favorite, you could tell me something different, but I probably wouldn't listen. No, I probably wouldn't listen. The word that's the ego, scared is taking over. But fuck it, if it's fun to run my tongue up on these road fronts. But I know I could lose it all if I'm not careful. I sound scared. Hope you feel that my heart's there though. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to episode 2 of our weekly vlog. All you have to do to enter for the giveaway is like, subscribe, and comment on this video and you'll be entered to win this beautiful piece. May the odds be in your favor with the giveaway and I'll see you next week. Peace!